Yeah, you're, uh, reading that right. You know, I, I see this kind of stuff in movies all the time, but... Never thought I'd actually be making one myself. Some people have bad days. Uh, okay, no. Everyone has bad days. This was mine. Actually, it was a bad day for all involved. You'll see why in a minute. You have three new messages. First new message. Hey, dickhead. Stop being a pussy and pick up your phone. Take a break from writing your stupid movies and come out and party. Besides, I'm gonna need a ride later and I don't want to ask mom again. That's my dumbass older brother Jake, who feels more like a younger brother. You know, he does stupid shit and always has to borrow money. Money that I don't have. Hey, Bobby, it's your mom. Have you heard from your brother? He's getting into that phase again where he's sleeping all day. I'm a bit worried. I hope he's not going to try something stupid again. Call me back. Love you. Yep, I know that look. Hi, Bobby. This is Brian from Media House. I just wanted to inform you that despite your great interview, we're going with another candidate. I wish you best in the future and have a great weekend. Oh, fuck you, Brian. Jake? You still sleeping? Rough night? Dude, it's four in the afternoon. You there? Jake? Not really the image I was looking for on that particular day. I never really knew what going into shock meant. I guess this was it. What's wrong? It's Jake. No, I think he might be dead. Dead? I, I don't. I don't know why. I don't know what to do. Come I. On, come on. Dead. No. Okay, sir. Is he still breathing? I don't know. Uh, he's just hanging there. I mean, what do you want Jake. me to do? I, Come on. No, Graham, 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 stop it. Just leave him there. Jake. What the hell was she trying to do? Are you able to tell if he's breathing, sir? Jake, what have you done? Oh, no, no. He's definitely dead. Okay. Police and paramedics are on their way. Are you okay, sir? Yeah, no, I'm fine. How are you? Oh, fuck. I uh, know. I don't think you're supposed to swear when you're on the phone with 911, but fuck it. I was on autopilot at that point. I 
I mean, I guess my day wasn't as bad as his. But now we're stuck dealing with his loss. And all the what ifs. Well, you fucked me. You know, Mom's been smothering the shit out of me now that I'm an only child. Listen, I... I don't know what, uh, was going on with you. But, I... I just hope you're in a better place. On the other hand, uh... I did get to see all the girls that you banged over the years at your funeral. It was a nice long line of pretty women, so good job with that. I mean, anything's better than watching Grandpa pick his nose hairs. So, I made a movie. It's about you. Well, I mean, it's more about my experience and doing what I did when I found you. But it's doing pretty good. At least I think it is. I actually haven't heard anyone's reaction to it yet. I do run my own production company. I work for myself. So I guess, you know, all those days I was sitting in writing my stupid movies instead of going out with you was worth it. I wish I did, though. I wish I still could. But, but I, I know you were helping me out with this one. So enjoy it up there. Try not to knock anyone up and... Keep an eye out for me down here. I'll... I'll see you when I see you. Life is hard enough, and without a sense of humor, it'll swallow you whole. Remember that. Remember them. Remember everything that helps you to keep pushing forward. Thank you.